Hey Royalty, hey Empress, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Sagittarius, Summer, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. First things first, y'all. I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. I only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I'm sending y'all a benefit, peace, love, and light always. This video is going to be for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. And I hope y'all have been doing well. I hope y'all are blessed, feeling blessed, feeling great. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Sagittarius, oh, you get into the work, you get into the bag, you get into the money, you all have this Aries. It may be a message for you in Aries. You may need to go check out that reading, my Aries reading. Y'all working, y'all grinding, y'all hustling, y'all doing this thing, and people, y'all showing out. People are seeing what you're doing as well. Yeah, this is the truth. You are the truth. It's like the Ace of Swords. <laughs> this is the truth. I'm speaking the truth. You are the truth. You speak the truth. You give clarity, okay? It's something about you getting the truth as well. So the truth is coming towards you. Mm -hmm. This is also you knowing your words, you being authentic, you being genuine, okay? You also being able to listen to Father God because Father God is the truth, Father God is clarity, okay? Yeah, this is also you like taking over by being your authentic self. Something about you, somebody here may be not be like, somebody here may be fearful of speaking the truth or someone here could be feeling like someone wants them to, to not say the truth, shut up, like, Silence themselves. Don't do that. Don't do it. I see it here. It's like you could be fearful of speaking out. You need to speak up. You need to speak up about something. Yeah. This is also the truth coming out or being exposed to you. Yeah. You're going to be finding out some type of, wow. This could also be honest communication coming in while you are in a place of solitude. Or you could be in solitude at this time, isolation, you know, focusing on yourself, self reflection, introspection. This is hermit energy here. This is you going, doing the shadow work. Okay, this is you looking at yourself in the mirror going within. This is also you not being negatively influenced by anybody around you. Yeah, this is also you making space for people, places, connections that actually serve you and your highest good. Letting God bring in what is aligned with you, your purpose, your calling, your mission. You know, what's aligned with you on a mental, emotional, and spiritual level. What's aligned with your energy. What's aligned with your, your, your faith. What's aligned with what you're working on at this time? Yeah, it's something about your enjoyment. You're getting ready to receive a lot of happier days that are on the horizon. Okay, this could also be because of the intentions that you could have put out. I'm seeing here the energy that you could be thriving in at this time, which you could be focusing on giving out to others. Yeah, your intentions are clear. There's someone here. Okay, so... You guys could be taking a chance, something about Vegas, okay? Someone here may like to drink a lot as well, or someone here may like the nightlife. You guys could have been connecting to somebody who could even be like a gambler. This person took a chance. They could have done something too quick. This is like the Knight of Swords energy. Somebody here did something too quick that they're like regretting, and now they're like trying to figure out where have you gone? Okay, they're trying to chase you. You could have discarded this connection, let it go, thrown it out, ended it. And it has this person at a place of trying to send you like a SOS, like they need you. Somebody here is really craving your energy, craving your healing. They're feeling closed, like closed in, trapped, very conflicted. Yeah, somebody here is reminiscing about the good times that they shared with you. The good times that you guys could have had with one another. But there's a pause or some type of delay that's taking place at this time within the connection. And it's your protection, I'm hearing. Like, this is meant to take place to protect you. Yeah, because someone here got caught cheating with red lipstick stain. Somebody here got caught being deceptive. They got caught cheating. They got caught stepping out. Oh, this is what's getting ready to happen. This could have been an energy that wanted you to ride things out with them as well. And then regardless of how tumultuous things was, like, you were never going to let go. Yeah, mm -mm. Yeah, there was also choices here. Wow. So you could have been this innocent person. Someone here didn't understand 
like the energy that you could have brought. They also could have had options here. Sagittarius, they didn't know. Somebody here could have chosen salt over sugar. Looks were deceiving. They also have fake friends around them. It's like everybody has been getting this lately. Check your friends. Somebody around you is not to be trusted or they could be, yes, check your friends. You could also have people that are like around you that could be wanting you to be very like sexually open or sexually free. And this is like sleeping with different people, not using protection. You need to use protection. Yeah, there's also a connection here that is like someone is trying to come back or they're trying to like hook up with you again or sleep with you again. Your friends could be saying, do it or use this person for sex. You don't need to do that. Okay, yeah, this is someone you need to sexually protect yourself from. You already threw this person out in the trash. This is double. Like, honestly, this is double confirmation. You don't need to go back to something. It is garbage. It is trash. The connection I'm not going to say the person is, but listen, like this is something that you need to throw away, get rid of, toss out. It doesn't serve you. For you to see trash twice, that's a big sign. Somebody here could be a musician because I see the piano. Somebody here could play the piano. They toxic. Your ancestors are like, it's time to go. Yeah, it's time for you to be solo dolo. I mean, I mean it's for one. I'm talking to indigo children. It's time for you to be by yourself because there was a snake around you. Somebody was trying to betray you there not to be trusted. They were trying to backstab you every which way. And they were hoping that you weren't going to use your intuition or you weren't going to see the truth about it. Yeah, you're walking away so that you can get your happiness. You see how she's walking straight or he's walking straight into his happiness, the eight of cups straight to the nine of cups, y'all. Come through. This is Scorpio energy. Woo, yeah. Cancer energy, Pisces energy, but really Scorpio is here heavy. Y'all can be connected to a Scorpio. I can have it in your chart. This is very difficult to do, to be the Eight of Cups. It's very, very hard because you put in a lot of time, energy, dedication to something. You wanted something to grow, and it's like you were investing in it, hoping that it was going to be the Ten of Cups happily ever after. So to leave something behind is you having the faith in self and also faith in Father God that he's going to bring you a blessing, something better, your wish, your heart's desire. And it happens. He just wants to see, are you going to believe that you can get it? Are you going to believe that you are worthy of it? Do you believe that it's better, that life gets better? It's something about your faith. Your faith has been tested a lot, Sagittarius. Yeah. The nine of pentacles. Oh, I'm talking to independent people, single, self-sufficient. Y'all are bosses. Y'all get into the bag and everybody is mad. <laughs> I'm seeing here, y'all are living that abundant, luxurious life. Y'all wanting and needing for nothing, okay? Y'all could have very, like, abundant, fruitful careers. You guys could be business owners. You guys may dress very nice. You're looking good. People are noticing the wealth around you and the blessings and favor that God is showering upon you, okay? I can't make it up with the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all also got a new opportunity. There was some type of, oh, man, with the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Such a Woo! Y'all coming into wealth. I'm talking to people that are about to be millionaires or billionaires. Wow, y'all could be getting ready to get married. This could be interracial dating for some of y'all. This could also be like blending the families. Y'all gonna have enough money to take care of like your children's children. This is generational wealth. This is generational lineage. This is beauty, blessings, beauty for your ashes. Oh my goodness. 911, as I said, that this is coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry for some of y'all. Woo, something this could have happened in like um something could happen in September. Somebody could have been up, could be born on the 9th or on the 11th. I'm seeing here, you have a lot of financial blessing. This is God overflowing your life with financial security. Okay, you're not going to have to want and need for nothing. This is financial security. You're, you're, it's like, this is you not wanting, you having the roof forever. Okay, you always having a roof over your head. This is you forever being able to have a financially stable, fruitful job, money, blessings. Okay, there's always money in your bank account. You always have a way to, to make money, to make wealth. This is also you being able to take care of your family. You guys could have gotten a promotion, a raise, something new could have came in. This could have even been an inheritance. Y'all had in the jackpot. Y'all coming into wealth. That's just what it is. It's a lot of money. Oh, my gosh. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. I don't know how else to say it. It's just what it is, y'all. It's just what it is. It is what it is. Like... <laughs> 
it is. Like, oh man, and like I don't know who it is. What it is, Saj, Saji, <laughs> big boys. Ooh, woo. Oh man, God is loving on y'all. God is loving on y'all. Y'all could be these emperors, male or female. If you are feminine, it's like you have to tap into that masculine energy to take care of you. you it's like you're showing people who's boss. You guys are very balanced. Male or female, you guys know how to balance your yin and your yang, your masculine and your feminine energy. You know how to take charge. You know how to be that go-getter. You know how to like, you know, sit down when you need to sit down and let things come to you, attract, be in that feminine energy. And you also know how to rise up and go and chase and not really chase, but go after things that serve you and your highest good, that are aligned with your purpose, your calling and your mission. That's that emperor, okay? Doing the tough, making tough decisions, you know, being able to take charge of situations, be, bring things in full throttle. Yeah, the king of wands, the page of wands. Yeah, Sagittarius, y'all did this. Y'all also turned y'all back on someone that was immature. Yeah, there was a divine choice that was made. Okay, this could have been a faded event as well. I'm seeing here, something was already faded to take place. It was already divinely guided to happen, to transpire. It was already written in the stars by Father God. This is also fate, like karma. Karma coming in. Destiny coming in for you. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo is here. What's the page of wands? Yeah, you walked away from somebody that was immature. You had to leave somebody behind. This person was toxic. They had some type of deep control bondage to you. Somebody here was very demented, very evil, very wicked. Mm, this could have been someone that was like very overindulging in low vibrational things, tendencies, lies, manipulation, a con artist, a thief, sex, ugh, greed. Somebody that was very tempting as well, very immature energy. Someone here had a stronghold on you or they wanted to keep you captive. They did not want you to know that they wanted to chain you, lock you down, not let you go. Somebody here, ugh. Is like a leech type of energy. They even wanted you to like take care of them with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You got divine clarity about this so that you can leave it alone with the Eight of Cups. Y'all had to leave somebody alone. Y'all, uh-uh. Y'all got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, Sagittarius. Listen here, okay? This chapter of your life is, is blessings upon blessings upon blessings. You're not only getting the victory and and the recognition for, for being your authentic self, for speaking out, for standing up, but you're also being like blessed with financial security, with wealth. This is also brand new love coming in for you. God is gifting you every which way in all aspects of your life. The only ace that y'all don't have right now is the wand, but I'm kind of nervous because it may pop out. It may pop out. 1331, as I was saying this, y'all are so blessed. It's like y'all have entered a chapter of your life because you have went up against something that was so toxic. Someone thought they had you. This devil energy thought that they had you. They thought that you were never going to be able to walk away or leave them or choose yourself, and you did. You did. Someone here was very immature, very childish. It's like they, they felt like they had to do the bare minimum to keep you. This was a very, like, mm, mischievous energy as well. Uh uh, y'all are y'all went in a brand new direction. I cannot make it up with the two of wands. It's like y'all y'all are constantly moving in a brand new direction. Like y'all are going in a new direction. Y'all had to leave something behind that did not serve you to choose a brand new pathway that was illuminated for you. Mm -hmm. And you doing this is bossing you up in every which way. You are a true empress or emperor. You are truly in that divine energy. You truly are. You are a husband or a wife. Okay? There's also someone that is like wanting to apologize to you because they know you're winning with the Six of Wands. They know you're going to be at a place of power if you aren't already. This could be people being inspired by you, looking up to you, you getting that recognition that you rightfully deserve. With the Page of Cups, there's admirers around you. This could be someone that has a crush. What's the Page of Cups? Or some, no, this is someone that you have rejected. Yeah, and they're heartbroken. Lost without you. Somebody's lost. Somebody is lost. Oh, man. 
the four of cups, you rejected this person, and now they're heartbroken. So somebody's going to try to, like, kiss your ass. I don't mean to say it this way, but they are. They're going to try to kiss your ass because they know you have praise. People are looking up to you or people want you. You're highly coveted or you're about to be highly sought after. And somebody's going to want a relationship. They even could be wanting to move in with you, Sagittarius. You need to tell this person, hell no. Okay, yeah. It's, it's move on. Move on because you have better lovers, more emotionally stable lovers coming in, more mature lovers coming in because the page is like a childlike energy. Okay, so it's like, mm -mm. as you continue down your path with the chariot, you're going to come into better lovers that are more suited for you because you're coming out as a king emperor energy. So you not with this shit. You ready for war. You're ready to fight. You're ready for battle. You're also ready to be a go-getter, to go after your passions. Because you know what you deserve. This is, you know, this is like complete knowing what you deserve. With the Ace of Cups, this is you knowing that you have favor, have love, because you give self-love to you. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is blessings, money, rewards coming in because you deserve it. With the Ace of Swords, this is you getting the truth, you being the truth, you are the truth, you being your authentic self, which is why God is blessing you in all which ways. I hope this resonated with y'all. May peace and blessings be to you always, Sagittarius. I'm sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.